Washington Estate doing a tour of the estate to be exact. So watch closely, stay tuned, watch what is going on. Unlike other spirits, rum is diverse and unique, just like the countries that produce it. 
Each region has their own specific style and flavor depending on how the one is crafted. Here at Amazon Estate, we make only premium gold rum, aged in American oak barrels that wants held for a month. At rum ages, it not only darkens, but gains complexity and flavor. Our portfolio is expansive and includes our signature blend, perfect for making simple cocktails. We were the very first. The history of rum is as old and as rich as the sugar be afforded by the very wealthy. Its demand was further fueled by scarcity, as it was very hard to find the perfect environment where sugar cane would thrive. But on his second voyage to the New World, Columbus brought sugar cane with him and found it not only thrived on this beautiful island, it flourished. And where there's sugar cane, there's rum. By the time the British took the island from the Spanish in 1655, they had already established a full-scale plantation system on other islands, which quickly replicated this in Jamaica. As different countries colonized the Caribbean, each island developed its own preferences and production methods. But no matter how the rum is produced, it takes less time to find its way to you. That's because it ages roughly three times faster in the Caribbean than it does in cooler planets, quickly filling your glass with the best rum on Earth. In order to be authentically in Jamaica, every drop of rum must be made using Jamaican limestone filtered water. Use a light product of sugar cane in fermentation and be distilled on the island. It must also adhere to the standards of minimum age. This means the age on the bottle refers to the youngest drop of rum in the blend. By law, we also never use artificial coloring, sweeteners, or any additives to impact our already perfect flavor or aroma. Each high standard is critical, so when you see Jamaica rum on the bottle, you know you're drinking one of the finest spirits in the world. In 1749, we found a voice in rum and our instrument in the land, which gave birth to Appleton Estate. Our estate sits in the unique topography of Cockney Country, the Nassau Valley, a lush and fertile landscape that's nestled in England in the heart of Jamaica. These rare landscapes, called karsts, are made of cone-like limestone hill formations, which act as a natural filter to the crystal clear water that rolls through our hills and rises up in our natural blue spring. This soft, sweet spring water, rich soil and daily rain showers give us the perfect conditions to make the finest drum, from cane to cone. Like our master blender, Joyce Spence, she's the first female master blender in the spirits industry and has over 30 years experience at Hamilton Estate. David Morrison, our senior blender, has been learning from Joyce since 2003, just as she learned from the master blender before her. Our master blender is part artist and part scientist, with a passion and pride and determination to create one of the finest spirits in the world, a rum that is elegant and complete. For us here at Appleton Estate, rum is our art, our song, our joyful expression of excellence. And the perfect continues. Okay, Tiffany. Yes, guys, so from here we go on the rum tour.
So we're going to be using the donkey to squeeze the juice from the sugar cane. Bear in mind, we're not using the donkey anymore. It is all done mechanically. So when we use the donkey, we're able to squeeze between 65 to 70 percent of the juice out, out, which is big difference. Let us do a comparison. Take a look at what the donkey is eating. Take a look at my hand over here. Totally treading. This is how it looks when it's done in the factory. So it's called bagas. Use it to make bagas board here in Jamaica. Back home, some of you guys may call it particle board, chip board, or compressed board. Not in the board making business here. Use it to generate steam to run our turbines so we have our own electricity here. The ash that is left after we burn it, we put it back into the cane field as a form of fertilization. Nothing is wasted here. You learn that as you go along on the tour. Thank you, David. Thank you, Carl. Thank you. Thank you. Take your pictures. And So the atmosphere down here is very nice. Yes, guys, so continuing the tour. A nice little waterfall here. One time. We all did that one time. Who are you? Oh. I have to explain to you guys how to put one sugar cane. You had it before? Yeah. Yeah, we have sugar cane in my mom. Because you swallow it just like a dog. Yeah. You swallow only the juice, not the fire. My mom makes a blue patch. And the climate, climatic have, condition here. Do you have machines to peel it or <laughs> you guys do it by hand? Alright, so we burn the peel to get off those leaves, the insects, so it's easier for the machine to go in and cut the stuff. In the hill, we still use mantle. Bamboo is hollow, the hole is inside, tricky, what is on the inside. That's one more person, a tall tree in the air. Behind the palm tree. Yeah. So there's several varieties. Yes, guys. So, going to another location where they say we squeeze our own cane juice. So, stay tuned and watch what I'm going So they are squeezing their own cane juice. So watch closely. It's a repeat of what they were doing down there with the donkey. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
occasion. Um, every Caribbean, every sugar estate in the Caribbean was a sweet Yes, guys, so we're heading now to the molasses station. Oops. Thank you. Molasses station, guys. So we are going to taste some molasses right now. So we are going on another side of the tour. We're going on the factory side. Can I it? Fermentation. take place in that big town across here. It can carry up to 120 
thousand gallons of liquid at any time. Fermentation is the process of converting the sugar in the molasses to alcohol. 60% of the molasses is natural sugar. That is why, by time to time, people use it as a sweetener. We dilute the molasses with water from a spring on the estate. And this is a picture of the spring we have on the estate. The water is filtered by nature as it percolates to the limestone hill of the cockpit country. The limestone soft with the water, so we have natural spring water here. Fermentation complete within 36 hours. It's only 8% alcohol. As you know, we're not making beer. So we pump that 8% alcohol inside of the distillery, and there is the magic again. I'm going to take you all to the distillery for distillation, unfortunately. No pictures, no videos, no recording. Have to keep the secret inside for the company right here. Right here beside us is a model of the pot still distillation method. You want to take a picture of it if you can. Otherwise, you're going inside where you see the bigger version of this is. We all climb in a stair, and inside the distillery, maybe one. Call me on the so, so, how much um, does, does um, if I have to bring my kids here and, you know, family? So, they make full body wrong, flavorful alcohol. Why? Column steel. More modern. Invented in the 1820s, it made lighter body rum and non flavorful alcohol. That's where they get the white overproof from. When the both of them are finished, hot still is like 86% alcohol by body. Column still, 96. Crystal clear, they look just like water. You guys may call it moonshine, ever clear, well lightning. In Jamaica, we call it Janker body or Kolo Kolo. Every African rum mm -hmm. is a combination of both of them. I'm going to take you to the aging house. That's the rum of the I'm Much cooler. I think all of you can sit here. I don't want no much of it. I have much on the floor. I'm you
They are made of American white oak, Barn. not planting oak in Jamaica for this purposes. Jamaica is too warm. Oak tree will grow too fast and the wood would not be hard enough. Buy them from the U.S., which is X bourbon barium. As the rum ages, it gets darker in color. Smoother when swallowed. A bit sweeter, but even more expensive. The minimum age in the barrel, three years. The oldest rum we have ever released is a 50-year-old rum. Not making it anymore, sold out in 2019. We're selling one bottle for 5,000 US dollars. People don't buy that rum for drinking. They buy for investment. We're no longer making it. Once we're out, then your price would have gone up every single year. But don't worry, you all miss out on that 50 year old rum. So we all can work out a payment plan for that one across there. <laughs> right across there, they're aging up to 100 years. Will be released in 2062, mm. yeah, yeah. going to be minimum 50 years for maximum 100 years in the bar. It's going to celebrate Jamaica 100 years of independence. Wow. Tell not your children, but your grandkids, of course, to start saving mm. the red looking at 20 to 30,000 US dollars per yeah, bottle. Then, no. In the, in the meanwhile, you're waiting on that one, there's one in the liquor shop for you. A 35-year-old rum released four weeks ago. Limited edition, exclusive to the Appleton Estate. It is called the Appleton Estate Ruby. The youngest rum in the blend, 35 year. The oldest rum in the blend, 50 year. 500 bottles are made. We're down to 51 bottles. It is for... $1,400 in US, in Jamaica, $217,000. Limited edition. Once the liquid leaves the barrel, the aging process stops. Don't go inside the liquor shop. Buy a $12, a $35, a $50, the 100 euros, so expensive. Because they lose a whole lot to age us rum. Someone has to pay for all that loss, but not us. All right? Yeah, let me go down. Yeah, let me go down. Minimum 50 years, maximum 100 years. They're looking at 20 to 30,000 US dollars per bottle. Drinking time. Just because these are the barrels of wine which is being fermented aging. Yeah, so we go. 